Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever part of the world you're in, we welcome you to God is Love with Bishop Justice, sponsored by All Saints Christian Church in Augusta, Georgia. A little rainy today, I decided to do a special broadcast uh, for the saints in the world. Uh, a couple of brief announcements. Um, don't forget January 26th and 27th of 2012, we have the revival. Uh, we're going to be bringing a prophet back home. Bringing a prophet back home. The Honorable William B. Character, that's C A R A T O R. Bishop William B. Character. You can see him on Facebook and see his bio and get some information about him. Uh, again, that's the 26th and the 27th from 7 to 9 p.m. It's going to be at Fairview Baptist Church. Uh, that's at the corner of uh, Millersville Road and uh, Wheelers Avenue right here in Augusta, Georgia from 7 to 9. He'll be speaking both nights. Uh, I'll be emceeing, uh, officiating, presiding over the event. Uh, we thank God for uh, Fairview uh, letting us uh, use their uh, sanctuary for this historical moment and bringing a prophet uh, back home. Um, don't forget the uh, address of our church. I always forget to get the address out. Uh, it's P.O. Box 14386, Augusta, Georgia, 30919. It's All Saints Christian Church, P.O. Box 14386, Augusta, Georgia, 30919. Well, well, seems like uh, I do forget to get it out, but uh, we still get the mail and letters in. Look what we just got in the mail the other day. Um, beautiful. Thing. The egg opens up. It has a Joseph and Mary. And looking over the baby, Jesus in the manger. Uh, pretty nice. Thank you. We thank you. Uh, if you had a good Veterans Day, well, we hope you had a good Veterans Day. I ate the Applebee's for free myself. Uh, me and a fellow pastor went there. We thank Applebee's for even having on um, in the Veterans and let us eat for free. Uh, I almost forgot. Got a new, uh, new TV show coming out on cable. I'll be hosting it. It'll be a talk show. Christian-based talk show. Uh, the date uh, we're airing about two weeks, sec second week in December. That's going to come out. Uh, it's still going to be called God is Love with Bishop Justice, except that it will be on cable now uh, on a weekly basis. And we have national sponsors for it already set up with the, uh, the television station, but we can have local sponsors here uh, also. We have available sponsorship here locally. And for more information about that, if you're interested in being a sales rep, uh, handle accounts for the show, number 706-288-7078. 706-288-7078. Uh, just ask for Bishop Justice. Um, and I think that's all the announcements we got there. Okay. Well, with that said, with that said, today's message is who are you walking with? Who are you walking with? Um, go get your Bible. Go get your Bible. Coming out of the book of Psalms. The first one. Psalms 1. Actually Psalms 1 and then we're going to flip over to Proverbs 4.14. So as always go get your Bible. Give you a minute, quick minute to get your Bible. I'd like to say hello to my missionaries out there. We have uh, you know, we're in Africa, Nigeria, two in uh, Nigeria, one in Ghana, and one in the Bahamas. I'd like to say thank you. Keep up the good work. You know, the missionaries are, are planting the seed uh, for the actual church structure that's going to be uh, in these countries when I go over there in May and June of next year. And to me, you know, the church is actually is us. It's us. But still, uh, for, for them in most third world countries, still want a structure for them to meet at. Uh, on a weekly basis uh, and uh, for Bible study and Sunday worship. So we like to tell them to keep up the good work. We're trying to have 20 before 1, uh, before January 1st, 20. So we're up to, uh, we're up to 5 now. We have 5. And so we, uh, uh, we're going to make our goal. Um, I think that's all the announcements. So, so that gives you time to get your Bible. When you got to say amen, you know, keep your, Keep your sword with you. Keep your keep your ammunition handy with you. All right, a book, Psalms one. 
Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. I can end, I can end everything. I can just say amen right there and see you next week. <laughs> Let's go to Proverbs. Let's turn to Proverbs 4.14. I had that marked. Uh, Proverbs 4.14. 4.14 I did have it marked Proverbs 4.14 when you have it say amen I felt you I felt you I felt it enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men our brothers and sisters the title of the sermon is who are you walking with who are you walking with and it's not, I'm not talking who you're literally physically walking with right now. But of course, that could relate, parlay to that, to what I'm about to say in just a minute. Um, it's like the old saying, birds of a feather flock together. Um, are you hanging with chickens or are you hanging with eagles? Me, me and myself, I like to hang with the eagles. But there's, there's not too many eagles you can hang with. Because if you notice what an eagle does, it's trajectory is up there so high, so high. An eagle has lofty ambitions. You, you, I don't know anybody that eats eagle eggs. You're not. You eat chicken eggs, but you're not eat eagle eggs. And that eagle is particular of the company that it keeps. Not like those chickens. They're always constantly together, getting together, cackling, and, and you know, men and women. Um, and you have to understand that people watch you. There are people that watch what you do. Um, if there's a certain promotion you're trying to get at work and you wonder why you can't never get it, is that probably that boss or that director of that company is probably watching the company you keep. Yeah, and watching the company you keep is indicative of, uh, about you, about your character. Um, so, uh, like like I say, birds of a feather flock together. Be careful of the company you keep. And from a Christian standpoint, from a Christian standpoint, I'm not saying that everybody that you that you with 24/7 has to be a saint, because we know Jesus did come to save the unrighteous, but. When we mean by hanging with un unrighteous people, we know if you're there, your purpose is to save souls. You're trying to convert people to Christianity. That's one point. But if you're constantly hanging out with folks who, contrary to, to, to what you're doing, sooner or later, sooner or later, their bad habits and their, uh, and their in intentions will rub off on you. Will rub off on you. But if you get a group of people, enough uh, good people together, Amongst that one bad person, or one unrighteous person, sooner or later, the, the righteousness will run off, rub off on that center, the constant center. See, and you got to have, there's got to be a method to your madness. There's got to be a way that you put a plan into action daily on how you're going to do things. How, how's your walk, your daily walk is going to be. You ought to look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and put a plan into, into, into motion. Put a plan into action. That's why a lot of people fail. They, they, they don't never put a plan into action. You, you got to write something down. Write the plan down. Come on, people. Write something down. Look at it. And then figure out a way how you're going to accomplish that goal. And surround yourself with people. That's, what, that's the whole sermon. What it was summing up like. Who are you walking with? Look, who are you walking with? That's my whole point. Surround yourself with people that are like-minded like you. You have like-minded goals, your ambitions and your dreams are alike. That, does that make sense? Surround yourself with positive-minded people, goal-oriented people. People are trying to make something of themselves. Don't surround yourself with people who are constantly negative, constantly bickering, 
constantly talking about him or her or always have something negative to say. There's nothing that ever comes out of their mouth that's positive. Am I making any sense? Am I making any sense? Surround yourself with eagles, not a bunch of chickens. That eagle is soaring high. That chicken wants to be like that eagle. That chicken to get on top of that, that the, the, the roost or whatever, the, you know, the, the hen house or whatever, and then dump up and, and try to fly and go straight down. But that eagle standing right there, and that eagle just shoo, takes off. Takes off. That eagle just pew. And it's so beautiful, so majestic. It's like it been doing it all his life. But that chicken is steady. No one ain't gonna get anywhere. Because he needs to surround himself with some better folks. <laughs> that chicken needs to surround himself with eagles, but he's scared to because that eagle probably eat that chicken. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, so you you know where I'm going. Uh, who are you surrounding yourself with? Who are you surrounding yourself with? What kind of company are you keeping? I hope this is helping somebody. You know the. People say, you know, when you're growing up, it's uh, the environment, the social climate. Um, it, 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 as a child or a kid, is constantly hanging out with a bunch of folks. We're not trying to do anything. It's like that child's going to tend to get lazy uh, and they figure out, well, they can get away with doing it. So can I. And I always used to wonder when I was growing up why I, we, we had a friend I knew. And um, he used to sneak out the door all the time, sneak out the window at night and he'd hang out at the uh, 7-Eleven and then uh, brag about it, you know, to his friends and stuff and uh, how he would, you know, sneak out the window at night while his parents were asleep, uh, steal the car when his parents were asleep, things of that nature, you know. But <laughs> we'd never forget, one day he snuck out the window and he, he, he couldn't get back in. <laughs> he couldn't get back in. The window was locked. And so, you know, a lot of times when you, you get to thinking you're sneaking off and doing things that people don't, people don't know, a lot of people know what you're doing. They just figure they let you keep doing what you're doing. See that? He let you doing what you're doing. Sooner, sooner or later, you're going get to you, get your own self in trouble. But so, and, and when he's hanging out there at, the, at that store at that time, who's out there at that time, night anyway, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, he's hanging out at the old 7-Eleven back in the day. And, uh, and he never, never really can got anywhere in life until actually he stopped hanging out and he changed the company he kept. He changed his walk of life, and then he became successful. So, um, if there's a young man or woman out there who's listening to what I'm saying, hey, change the company, change the people you hang with. Hey, you just got to cut them loose. Say, look, hey. Uh, I'm a Christian now, and that's the first thing. The hardest thing is with as Christians, is it cut the it's cut the loose of the old, because you don't want to hear people say ah, oh, you know they talk about you. No, soon you become a Christian, then your so called so called friends, so called friends, now all of a sudden they're talking about you because now you don't want to go to the club, you don't want to smoke, you don't want to hang out. There's certain things that you don't want to do anymore. So now they get mad at you and call you names. Because you want to be a Christian. Because your walk of life is the Christian way. So you don't want to hang with the chickens anymore. You want to hang with the eagles. So now they get mad at you. And that, and that happens all the time. So if you're new, in, you're new in, in, in your walk of life, your Christianity walk is new, and folks are talking about you, that's normal. Get used to it. They talked about Jesus. They're going to talk about you and me. And no matter how good you do, somebody always going to find something negative about what you do. That's just human nature. So don't stop what you're doing. Keep driving on. You know, stop. Keep giving it your all, and continue to fight for for Christ. And keep your eyes on the prize. And keep your head up. I always tell people all the time, keep your head up, because there's nothing down on the ground. Uh, and I, I tell people all the time, one of my favorite things is, do you walk by faith or do you walk by sight? Hey, I can't see God, but I know He's there. So I have to walk by faith. I have to trust in what He says. Well, I hope that made sense to somebody. Uh, time is running down, and we, we got to go. So uh, if you got any questions or comments, feel free to call me at any time, 706-288-7078. Uh, 
Uh, we're glad you tuned in to God is Love with Bishop Justice. Don't forget, we're going to go into a major network in about two weeks, and we, we continue the support that we're getting. We thank you, and God bless you, because without you, none of this would work. And without Jesus, none of this would ever happen. Thank you. God bless. We'll see you next time.